Welcome everybody to Minecraft. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to make a mine track or a mine switching station and we've arrived here uh, in your Minecraft server. It's very easy to build. I can either go this way or this way. If I hit right, it switches the track right here depending on which button I hit and it releases me at the same time. throughout your entire town so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this what you want to do is you want to make an intersect like this or you know your your track could be you know right here depending on which way you need to turn which way you need to go ramp going downward because when you hit the button you're gonna need something to propel you forward but also something that's gonna stop you long enough or stop you on your arrival to the actual station two is your RS Norlatch you can find video tutorials on this just put two blocks down, doesn't matter what they are, the redstone on the inside of the blocks, redstone torches, and then out of the back of this block, you're going to come down here, straight into the back of the block with the button on it. So when I hit this button, you can see how that lights up all the way down there. Make sure, it's, if it doesn't reach 15, 15 blocks, you're going to have to go put a repeater in here which looks like I'm going to have to do so the, the redstone only travels 15 blocks so you can put it anywhere in there it'll it'll reach as long as it reaches the button and then your other button which is probably also going to need one maybe Let's see step three is your output this is your output it's going to go off of, off of one of the torches this could also be considered an output, but you don't need that for this project. And as you can see, this track right here, as soon as I put the redstone torch down, it switches. So when there's a redstone torch there, when there's a redstone torch there, it's that way, when there's not, powered, unpowered, powered, unpowered. So you're going to need to turn that off. So let's power it. And to turn it off, we have to send power to the block that the redstone's on. So go ahead and put the power to the block. It has to go into the side of the block. It can't be, this will not work. That will not work. It has to be into the side of the block. That's just how redstone works. So now that we have that together, hitting these buttons should activate the track left or right. So let's go right. And as you can see, the track turned right. Let's go left. And the track turned left, and it stays left. Next step, after you have your RS Norlatch in and your track is switching, is actually releasing yourself from this track and this is a really simple part it has to go just right there right next to it so your button needs to come off yeah, obviously it needs to come off and it has to go into a block into the back of a block that has the um, track on it so if I was to hit your brake it would open it, momentarily opening it, and then closing it. And then obviously you want to run it down the same side. Make sure it goes into the back of the block, not make sure it doesn't go like this or something. Because that will not work. That will not work. So if I, as you see, it does not open. So make sure you're going into the back of your block. So as you can see, the we'll go we'll go left here. 